subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the latest updates. Hello everyone, it's Ashish Johan from Ashwin Guishin. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you all guys are doing extremely well. Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a very moody portrait with, you know, very leaf Instagram trending photo editing. So before getting to the video, just hit the like button on this video so that, you know, it will motivate me to make more videos just like this and give you more preset for free. So and don't forget to you know subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.astrocreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera preset lightroom preset and, and every kind of you know photo editing stuff just for free so feel free to go and check it out that website and just forget don't forget to you know follow me on instagram just type astrocreations. creations let's jump to the video uh, when the photos open open uh, such kind of you know click subscribe such kind of photo in your room or whatever you the uh, location would be would be pretty much okay just click this kind of photo you are holding a leaf of a tree of any people or neem tree just hold the leaf in uh, hand make sure that it should you know cover half face and the eyes of the subject or the model should be seen properly so first of all select the photo by using the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon to make it selected in a proper way and just right click on it and select layer by copy option or you can directly press ctrl j or command j from the keyboard to make the duplication of the selection which you have made so here you can see we have created a layer of the duplication of the selection now the next thing would be you know to First of all, we clean up the face a little bit of, of the subject. So let's select the mixture brush, make the load to 40, wet to 40, or mix 31%, flow to 35%. And just, you know, smudge your face only a little bit. Don't over smudge your face, otherwise your photograph will look very unreal, which we don't want. So just make sure that you should uh, smudge your face face of the model just a minor because we have to maintain the originalism of the photograph so it is very much necessary that you should smudge the face of the subject only a little bit now let's you know add some uh, burn and dodge to the image so let's just select this image Create a layer and just right click on it and select fill and just fill it with 50% uh, grey. Now just uh, create a clipping mask on it and change the blending mode to overlay. And just to select the dodge tool make the exposure to around 10%. And just do the minor you know brushing and increase some highlights. This is how you can just uh, you know add some highlights so here you can see the before and after a huge difference can be seen on the image and it is really making your photograph to look way more better you can also add some highlights on the area of the leaves where the white region or the white veins are present so you can add some highlights over there also
so here you can see the before and after effect it is really like making your photograph to look more better now the next thing would be to you know add the background first of all we crop the photo for our instagram profile so let's say like 4 is to 5 ratio and just adjust the photo in a portrait mode so here is the photo for our portrait so we will just blur the edges of the subject so select the blur first of all we will add the background on the image so let's go to the file click on open and let's browse the background let's select this just drag it and drop over here it is really very simple to add the background now go press edit and you can adjust the position of the image of the background now now press control l from the keyboard just increase the highlights on the background image and add some darkness So here you can see the you know dodge tool which we have added this dodge effect It is really looking very much you know pretty much okay Now here we will blur the edge of the subject so select the blur tool and select the hard run brush and just you know keep it blur on the edge of the subject make a huge selection or the make big brush and just do the process of blurring on every portion make the strength with a hundred percent So here we have done the process of blurring the edges. Now just you need to do is just merge it with the background there. Press Ctrl J from the keyboard and change to soft light and decrease some opacity to and around 17% and just merge both the layers. Now the next thing would be to you know add some blackness on the effect so let's go to the curves click on below icon and just add some strokes of here and one here and just move the slider to upward position and just merge with the background go to the selective color from the adjustment layer select the black color and just move the create a clipping mask and move it to around you know up to 40 to 15 percent and just to merge it with the background layer and just merge all the layers you still want to add some you know PNG let's add some water PNG on the image just drag and drop over here press ctrl T
again press Ctrl T from the keyboard and let's place it this water bubbles over here and select the eraser tool and just delete some unwanted bubbles which you don't want from the image decrease some opacity and also let's delete some unwanted bubbles from here here also we will just decrease the opacity now just merge it with the background layer right click on it and select merge layer again let's crop the image by using the crop tool now let's go to the filter select camera filter from there and first of all add some exposure on the image then we will add some contrast add some highlights decrease the shadows increase the whiteness or let's just decrease some way whiteness and decrease some blackness and go to that SL tab sorry calibration tab and just move the slider move the slider to this just make sure that your skin color is maintained at uh, you know perfectly go to the HSL tab select the luminescence increase the green color You can also increase the aqua color of the image, decrease the blue color, blue shades, increase the purple saturation and also decrease the magenta saturation. Now let's add the shadows to blue color. Also, let's add some, you know, now let's add some dignity on the image. Increase the clarity. Here you can see the difference of clarity. This creates a very HDR effect on the image. Go to the tone curve and just click a point over here. Just decrease the blackness of the image. This is really looking very moody of the you know photograph. Go to the HSL tab and also you can increase the green color if you want to increase.
Here you can increase the or decrease the luminescence of the orange color. You can also play with the blue color or the So here you can see your photograph is really looking very much perfect and moody for your, you know, Instagram profile. Let's change the aqua color. Or you can also change the blue color to an you know, or teal color. You can add some sharpness on the image. So let's go to the sharpness tab. Let's add some sharpness on the image. Finally here we have added the sharpness on the image. Now see, uh, so here you can see the before and after effect. It is really looking way more better than the before photograph. And just hit OK. So here you can see we have perfectly created the you know, moody Instagram photograph for our profile photograph. So you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after effect it is really looking very amazing and very you know stunning photograph well i hope you guys have enjoyed the video and if you enjoyed then just hit the like button on this video so that it will motivate me to make more videos for you guys and if you still haven't subscribed to our channel then do subscribe and hit the notification icon to get latest updates and don't forget to visit our website that is www.asweircreations.com from there you can download backgrounds camera reset lightroom preset and every kind of you know photo editing stuff just for free so go and check it out that website and guys please like the video and comment and share so that it will you know i'll make more videos for you and give new presets and every kind of stuff for free so guys please support me to grow and for and just follow me on instagram so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video.